gone to meet his maker. Get rid of him. Just seeing if he's got a purse. I'll show you my purse if you show me yours. This is an ambush! You don't say. This is how it goes. There's poor people going hungry. Can you tell us what you've got? Be honest with us. And we take one-tenth. So the poor can eat. Lie or resist. And we take it all. So what's it gonna be? Well, what have we got here? My babies. Get them! I don't want to hurt you. Oh, chivalrous. <laughs> A woman you'll find. Where did they go? Gone to meet their makers. Take me to Nottingham. Idiots! Great work, Will. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing? Genius! I love our camp! <laughs> <laughs> Time to go and get the pretty one and her daddy. Edward and Marion. Mm. If they resist, shall I use force? Get up to speed, Gisborne. Use force anyway. How are you doing, Alan? Could have been nasty. Yeah. Those men were well-trained. Woman wasn't bad. Nearly had you for a minute there. No, I doubt that. What's that? Boss lady's ring. Hang on. That's the sheriff's insignia. So what? Well, what? We, we robbed a friend of the sheriff. Just more than a friend if she shares the sheriff's insignia. Oh, the glamorous 
impossible. <laughs> the successful one. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so how was your journey? I ran into an old friend of yours. Heard. Hmm. He didn't hurt your babies. No. But I do want him caught. Don't worry. Everything's in place. Tomorrow, when our friends gather, they gather to watch her die. Hmm. The plan is... The whole garrison 500 men. Hmm. Men is good. But a woman is better. And that's all I'm taking off until you go away. <laughs> You're a sport sport, Marion. What do you make of this? The sheriff's insignia. We took it off a woman on the way to Nottingham today. And she had men and they were well trained. It was like a military unit. And she's been granted the sheriff's insignia. And what does that mean? Well, I don't know. I was hoping you and your father might know. I get the feeling we're not too welcome in the corridors of power. Good. Come and join my gang. In your dreams. Wait. Listen. Did you hear it? What? That kiss spoke volumes. Did it? What did it say? It said... Marion wants to come and join your gang. Really? That's not what I heard. What I heard was a little voice saying, abandon your home, abandon your father, give up any hope of a normal life and take up arms with a man who thinks resistance is about showing off with a bow. That's not fair. And to do what? To wait for a king who, let's face it, may or may not make it home. <laughs> what? See, I've been thinking about it then. <laughs> Sir Edward! Marion! Out now! I'm gonna kill him. I'll we'll shoot first thing later. I will not allow this. Do you want my father killed? Marion? Look, if you respect me, you do nothing. Come down now, or I will torch your house. Answer do you me. respect me? Don't keep me waiting. I respect you. Father! You come when I say! Father! I am unhurt. What do you want? You come into the castle, Sheriff wants you where he can see you. No, we're not. My father is frail. Release him! You do not! Tell me what to do! Burn the house! Guy, no! no. Please, Sir Guy. Better. Sir Guy. Beg. Sir Guy, please, I beg you. Much better. <laughs> But still not good enough. Something's up. That is proper lockdown. Can't just be for Edward and Mary. Oh, 
Who is that? Oh, why don't you just knock on the door and ask the sheriff? Well, we're not going to find out much standing around here all morning, are we? What do you recommend? Since you ask, I was going to go to the tavern. Some new tricks I want to try out here. Look at this. Three cups, right? Come on. No, no, come on. Robin, this is lovely, honest. Since when have we been tavern tricksters, Alan? If you're going to get all funny about marrying, why'd you let Gisborne grab her in the first place? Be careful. Ah, the sanctimonious old fart. And her father. <laughs> I gather you've been careless with your wood fire. You know full well that is not the case. Tell me, whose side are you on? Mine or King Richard's? Hmm? The real world, the old world. Yours. <laughs> Come along. We both know that's not true, don't we? I believe in justice. I believe in the rights of a free man. Who cares what you believe in? Hmm? I have a plan, and I will not tolerate dissent. So, you are under house arrest here in the castle until I can find some use for you. Lord Sheriff, I must protest. You must. My father is unwell. He must be allowed One to... One more word out of you, Missy, and your father will never be unwell again. My lord, another one of our friends has arrived. Good. Guy. Please. The castle is no place for an old man. You think you can humiliate a man at the altar? A man like me? and get away with it, you're wrong. Marion's in there. Oh, yeah, she's probably having cakes and ale with the sheriff. You just don't get it, do you? No, I don't get anything. That's what I'm saying. You know, we risk our lives to get money, then we give all of it away. What's that about? It, no, it... I'm not being funny. We should get something. If we don't get anything, we're going to get weak. We get demoralised. Then how are we going to help the poor? You're not weak. No, but I might get weak. Anyway, it doesn't matter to you. Why? You've always been weak. Very funny. Funny. You know, why don't you just... Just... Why don't I just what? Why don't you just jigger off? Jigger off? You what? What does that mean, jigger? You know what it means. All right. What? Where are you going? Master! Just let him go. He needs to come off. We've forgotten about the poor today. We said we'd be here to hand out. Well, the sheriff's not forgotten about them. Look at that. Poor woman. Can't let a day go by without trying to humiliate one of them. For now, we'll try the West Gate. Come on. Just had your wages. We'll sit to you. I thought you might fancy doubling your money. There's another one. I know that man. Foster of Rotherham. Who is he? He's a schemer. And he's nasty. And he's an enemy of the king. The day Foster and the Sheriff get together is a black day for England, and if all those visitors are the same, then... <sighs> Go back to the camp and tell the others to get ready, and tell them the castle is locked down, and tell Will to think of a way to get over that wall. Where are you going? <laughs> what if we get in? We'll need uniforms. Being funny it costs me money every time. Oh, shame, shame. Thank you very much. 
Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Another go? Have another go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, unlucky. Fancy a bet, mate? Gotcha. This the sheriff's work? Just go away. Look, I don't want any sympathy and I don't want any manky food thrown at me, so unless you've got a better idea, go away. Well, how about I rescue you? <sighs> no, thanks. I am Robin Hood. Really? No, thanks. I'm taking the punishment for my children. They were caught stealing scraps from the castle kitchens. Go on, shoo! I've got to stay, but they get it. It's just for a day, so do me a favour and get lost. If you and your children need extra food, my men and I can help. Every few days we bring those in need a little food and money. I can add you to our list, if you give me your name. What, you think, because you've given me a coin, I'm going to tell you my name? I have to go. You don't have to give me your name. Just be in the market on Thursdays. My men will find you. Hey! Rose. My name's Rose. Thank you. Excellent, my tiny tricksters. Oh, where's Gisborne? Hmm? Tell Gisborne it's showtime! <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> So tell me, where are your friends? What are you talking about? Oh, not this again. You think I'm one of Robin Hood's men, don't you? One who looks like me. What's his name? Um, Alan, right? No, no, my name's Tom. Tom! Don't insult me. What's happened? Robin Hood kick you out, hmm? Tricking working men in taverns doesn't sound very Robin Hood to me. I told you, I don't know Robin Hood. Show me some respect, and maybe we can talk about a deal. It's a guy. Sheriff says it's showtime. Torture him. Hang on. Hang on, I admit, all right? I'm Alan and Dale. Too late. You set a deal! Too late, no need anymore. People. My dear. These two young scallywags here think because they are children, they can escape justice. They have committed a crime. One of my men saw fit to take pity on them and their mother and allowed her to take a punishment for them. Very generous, misguided. They must lose a hand. It is the law. No! no my children, no! Ah, ah, motherly compassion. The sweet, charming. Bring out the equipment. Please, my children, they meant no harm. Please don't take their hands, please. Shut up! <laughs> Come along, chop chop. <laughs> Crazy. Sheriff of Nottingham hereby pronounced sentence on little tiny Billy and tiny little Jane, blah de blah de blah, 
chop off their hands. <laughs> Somebody save my children! <laughs> Touch those children and there's an arrow way for you, Sheriff! Do it! Those children! Run! They can't! Help! No, Robin, don't go down. Now! Clever. Very, very clever. Put on your weapon, Hood. So, tell me, are these even your children? Children? Boo. Now, you show me your face, and I'll show you mine. My friends, our time has come. King Richard is marching on Jerusalem. By the time the year is out, he will be home. So, Operation Sharmat must move to the next phase. Mobilize your men. Bring me your bids for funding. We must be ready. Wherever King Richard lands on English soil, we must be there to greet him, to embrace him. Uh, oh, the king is dead. <laughs> Long live the king. So, meanwhile, today's entertainment. My friends, allow me to introduce, from high lord to low criminal, from noble to nothing, from rank to skank, from hero to zero. Robin Hood. Welcome to my new chamber, Hood. We are the Black Knights. Why so coy, Vasey? Why not call yourselves the traitors? An Operation Sharma? Why not call it Checkmate? Or better still, kill the king. Oh, very good. He knows his Persian. Very clever. The taxes. The money you've raised. What did you think? Did you think I was going to buy myself a new rug? You don't know me at all, Hood. Myself and my friends, we have no interest in money. It's for an army of mercenaries. We want power. Between us, we will run the New England. We are the New England. Well, then God help us. Yes, well, God is the only one that can help you now. Shame. Because I really rather enjoyed our little skirmishes. Davida. Man, how about a little wager? That's no, by the way. Inch by inch, Hood. 
You'll be lowered to your death. My friend Sagai would like to ask you a question before we say goodbye. Tell me, Hood. Who is the Night Watchman? I don't know, Gisborne. But I do know I'll kiss him when I see him for stealing from you. And for showing it's not just me. You see, there are people like me and the Night Watchman all over England who will stand up for justice. Look at you. And in life, I play you threw it away. For what? So you're going to be king of the paupers? Do you think they'd love you? Did you think they'd kneel at your name? Trust me. You're not dead yet and they've forgotten you already. I suggest you retire to your quarters and we reconvene tonight. Thank you. So, handsome. I almost regret tricking you now. A clue. Remember this, Night Watchman. Take off your mask, I want to see your face when you die. Mistake, my friend, you should have run when you had the chance. What's the matter? Does nobody love you? <coughs> That's your real weakness, isn't it? You need people to love you. It's better than needing reptiles to love you. My brother loves me. Like I said. <sighs> Looks like you're gonna die without an audience hood. Why is he running away? He 
is creating a distraction! If you did escape, between us we have 10,000 men. What was your plan, hmm? Were you going to save England single-handed? Not single-handed. There's five or six of us. <laughs> Sheriff! Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you now and put an end to your treason. Shut up, Hood. Then you die with your sister. You haven't told him, have you? Prince John has made the Sheriff a promise. If my brother should die an unnatural death, then the county of Nottingham and everything in it shall be obliterated. Every town and village will be burnt. Every man, every woman, and every innocent little child hanged. Would you really want that on your conscience, pretty boy? Huh? How long? You're my strong sister. I'm not strong. I was being you. So you'd notice me. So you'd love me. I love you. I've always loved you. <sighs> ah. I want him dead. Kiss him whatever it takes. I want him dead. Who died? 
died. You did. The sheriff said you were dead. The sheriff. The sheriff is plotting to kill the king with his friends, the Black Knights. They're already dividing England between themselves. You can't go back into the castle. We must get word to the king. Nottingham is not safe. It's not just Nottingham. The Black Knights. The Black Knights, they're everywhere. They're taxing the poor of England to pay for an army of mercenaries. Well, we must stop them. I must go back to the castle. It's too dangerous. Seven. Having a spy on the inside when there's a coup being plotted is useful. No, for once, just listen to me. And my father is in there, Robin. I have to go back. Marion, I can't protect you in the castle. Two minutes ago, I thought you were dead, and I would have given anything for another chance to be with you. Now then, take that chance. And come with me. Listen. What? A little voice saying yes. When the king is home, safe. Hood, you left without saying goodbye. Take aim. What? No more public humiliation, Gisborne, eh? No more beating and berating. The sheriff doesn't want to say goodbye either. He just wants you dead now. See you on the dark side. Shoot him! So, it's good night from me! And good night from him! What? Ah! Pepper! Ah. Ouch! You see, Kisben? Ah. That's why I didn't say goodbye. Ah. Because I didn't want to see you cry. <laughs> Time to disappear? Ah. Yeah. Ah. I'm going this way. Come on! Ah. But I'm in fun. Hood was here, did you know? Didn't try and rescue you. So, I was thinking, one chance to live. I'm not hoping you kill Robin. I'm not hoping you kill anyone. Yeah, I respect you for that. So let's look at this another way, shall we? An exchange. As we go along, a little information, a little money, a conversation. What sort of conversation? Oh, a harmless one. If I need extra guards on a building, you let me know. If I need to reroute a convoy, that sort of conversation. I am not robbed. Robin is not killed. You'll be doing us both a service. You and I, we're the ones who make our supposed betters look good. And they take us for granted. But what happens when they move on? Then it's our turn. You want to help the poor? Help yourself first. Make provision for the future. You will never be named. You will never be implicated. This is just between you and me. You be my eyes and my ears. And then when all this is over, you will have money and position. And you can help the poor to your heart's content. It's not the end of the world, is it? I mean, Marion's all right, basically, and we've got a camp. Much. The Sheriff and the Black Knights are going to kill the king. Take over England. Oh, true. It is the end of the world. Well, if we have learned one thing today, it's that you're never going to Nottingham alone again, ever. Because if you had died, especially now... If I had died today, much. 
or if I die tomorrow, you will carry on without me. How? We are Robin Hood's men. No. You are Robin Hood. What? You are Robin Hood. And you are, and you are. All of you. We're not, though, are we? Listen to me. Listen. We are not just six outlaws in the forest. We are the spirit of England, and that is Robin Hood. And that, lads, that is this country's only hope. We are Robin Hood. Come on. Hey up, lads. What happened to you? Ah, oh, trick one punter too many. Oh, I could have told you. We are Robin Hood. What? Just say it. We, we are Robin Hood!